So this is the Ryzen 5 5600X. So this is the Ryzen 5 5600X. Okay, so this is part of the Ryzen 5000 series launched this November 2020. Fourth generation Ryzen desktop processor na based on Zen 3 architecture. I think this is going to be the last CPU na supported on the AM4 socket but who knows. Malay natin mag-release si AMD ng Zen 3 Plus next year kung hindi naman nila kailangan maglabas pa ng Zen 4, right? Okay, so now let's talk about specification. So it comes with a base clock of 3.7 GHz with a boost of 4.2 GHz max. It has 6 cores, 12 threads, and this CPU is actually manufactured by ESMC's 7 nanometer FinFET process. Um, it supports PCIe Gen 4, 32 MB of L3 cache with DDR4 support of up to 3200 MHz but that doesn't mean na hanggang 3200 lang ang kaya niya. So dun lang siya na test to be very stable but you can always try to OC your RAM whether via XMP or manual adjustment ng timings. And in terms of TDP, nasa 65 watts lang siya. So you really won't need big and beefy CPU cooler. Uh, but for my build, I'll be using the Deepcool Gamax GTE V2. So stay tuned for the video about that. And in terms of motherboard support, ang announcement ni AMD is for now, X570 at B550 chipsets pa lang ang pwede. Pero by next year, magkakaroon ng bias updates for the B450 chipset. So abang-abang lang yung mga naka B450 dyan at nagbabalak mag-upgrade. And possible din siguro sa ibang chipset pero I'm sure magiging beta bias lang yon at hindi magiging officially supported ni AMD. Okay, so also when you buy this, may kasama na siyang stock cooler. So the rate stealth cooler ni AMD and I personally think this cooler is way better than the Intel stock cooler both in terms of physical appearance and of course the cooling performance. Okay, so although kung mapapansin nyo, hindi talaga ideal kung stock cooler, especially kung ang fan mo ay nag-iisang exhaust fan lang kagaya ng tinest natin dito. Okay, so but of course, we will be using a proper case fans like the PC Cooler Corona and Halo RGB fans. Um, watch out then for our upcoming videos regarding these case fans. Okay, so kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe, please consider on subscribing para makita nyo agad yung mga videos na yan. Alright, so I'll be doing several benchmarks for this CPU. Pero for now, share ko na din itong Cinebench R20 na ginawa natin without overclocking and still using the stock CPU cooler. Single core is 599 points while the multi-core score is 4149 points now to give you some reference here and to give you some context the intel i9 10900k single core performance is around 537 points and my current i5 4690k gives me about 337 points for the single core performance Okay, so nag-try din ako ng games pero as you can see, the GTX 1060 is kinda bottleneck na sa CPU na ito. Okay, so after pairing also with the GTX 1070, medyo mukhang bottleneck pa rin. Okay, so di ko sure kung bottleneck pa din ba ang tamang term dito pero as you can see dun sa ating uh, game, uh, hindi fully utilize yung CPU kahit almost 100% na ang GPU. Alright, so some final thoughts about this CPU. Okay, so for the pricing, medyo actually nakakaalangan talaga bumili na Ryzen 5000 series ngayon dahil medyo itinaas ni AMD ang pricing niya compared to previous generations. Now, if you're coming from previous generation, say Ryzen 3000, baka hindi ganun kasulit kung mag upgrade ka. Pero if you're like me na galing pang 4th generation Intel, I think it's worth the upgrade especially na halos comparable yung performance niya to either i7 or even i9 when it comes to 
single core performance. So, ginamit na natin tong Ryzen 5600X for the past 3 days and so far, I'm really satisfied with the performance. So, I tried to edit and render some videos, play games, and very noticeable ang improvement from my i5 4690K. But of course, we're still going to do some benchmarking sa ating upcoming video. So kung meron kayong program or game na gusto ipatry, please comment down below and we'll see kung kaya natin siyang gawin. Alright, so I think that will be all for now. I will be doing a separate video for the benchmarks na magpo-focus more on productivity pero meron din naman ilang popular games na nilalaro natin. So inaantay ko lang makompleto yung iba pang parts para sa ating Project White PC build so stay tuned for that. Also, please like kung nagustuhan nyo itong pag-unbox natin ng ating bagong-bagong CPU, the Ryzen 5600X. Consider subscribing para sa marami pang upcoming videos kagaya nito. Make sure to comment down below kung meron kayong questions and suggestions. And once again, this is Dev Codigo. Cheers!